Hey, my Phoenix boys and girls, I just want to let you know today we're going to do some assignments. We're going to do a little project together. I miss you guys. I want you to know that I hope you enjoy this. And let's go. All right, Phoenix, today we are going to have, do an experiment. And we're going to use vinegar. We're going to use what is this name? Can you read that? Baking soda. Baking soda. You know what this is, Matt? This is called a... You don't know what it's called? This is called a funnel. We use funnels for a lot of things. Usually, we, we can use funnels for gas. We can use funnels for oil. We can use funnels for cooking. What a funnel does is it takes something big, it makes it small, so you could put it into a small place so it doesn't spill all over the place, right? So if I was just gonna pour a bunch of stuff into this little tiny thing, it would pour all over and we'd have a mess. So we have baking soda, vinegar, we have a measuring cup. We actually have two measuring cups. And guess what else we have? Do you guys know what these are called? Balloons. Balloons. Does anybody here know what these guys are called? These guys are called my grandkids. This is two of my grandkids. This is Nathan, say hi Nathan. Hi. And this is Matthew, say hi Matthew. Hi. Notice Matthew's lost a few teeth. This quarantine stuff kind of does number on your body. And Matthew lost how many teeth in quarantine? Three? Yeah. Um, yeah, three are out right now, but these ones are grown up teeth. Oh, he's got grown up teeth in there too. Nate has a bunch of grown up teeth. In there. <laughs> so do I. And you know, I have my big white tooth too. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so first thing we're going to do is we have to put vinegar in this water bottle. So this water bottle is empty. And we're gonna put some vinegar in there. So. Boom, you're right, Nate. There is vinegar in there. It almost looks like water. Look at that, it's clear and it's vinegar. Vinegar is an acid. So we are gonna use an acid in our project, and we are going to add what's called a basic, which is baking soda. Does anybody know what happens if you mix baking soda and vinegar? Yeah? yeah. yeah? yeah. What happens? It makes an explosion? Like a volcano. I wonder if real volcanoes are made with vinegar and baking soda, do you think? No. No? Okay, so what we're going to do is now we're going to use our funnel. But I do think there is a little bit of vinegar. You think there's a little bit of baking soda? Okay, so we're going to put the funnel in the balloon. And then I want you to hold it very carefully, like this pinch it. And Nathan, I want you to pour the baking soda into the funnel. And because it's the big funnel on top, we're putting and then that, you can shake it just a little bit. Okay, that's, that's probably enough for now. Let's shake it, and then we're gonna have to get it all in the balloon. It's going in there, look. It's gonna take a little while though, I think. Let go for a second. It's not moving very fast. It'll go in there though. Okay, so in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to all go in there, what do you know when you put two things together? Like if you put an acid and a basic together, do you guys know what that's called? You don't know what that's called? That's called a chemical reaction. So what we're gonna do today is we're making a chemical reaction. We got a lot of baking soda going in here. Okay, so now we have our balloon full of baking soda. Good job, Nate, pouring that in there. Good job holding the funnel. So now I'm gonna take the balloon. What do you think I'm gonna do to it? Put it in. Can you hold the bottle so it doesn't fall over? Oh, I think you can do it together. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the balloon over the mouth of the bottle. 
So Matthew, can, can you go? pick up the balloon? Yeah, you can let go. And Matthew, you can pick up the balloon, stand the balloon up over the bottle. Oh no! Can you pick up the balloon a little bit more, Nate? So what's happening is it's bubbling and it's blowing up the balloon. Why do you think that happened? Kind of like helium. It's called carbon dioxide. So what happens is you have a liquid, which is the vinegar. You have a solid, which is what? The baking soda. When you mix them together, you get a chemical reaction and you get a what? You have liquid, you have solid. What's the last thing? G, G. It starts with a G. You have a, a gas. And the gas is lighter than the water and the bubbles. So the gas floats to the top. And now let's do this next part. This next part, we're going to pull. Feel that balloon. Does that feel like a regular balloon filled with air? Yeah. Yeah, it feels kind of cool. Actually, feel it now. I'm going to tie it. Feel it now. Does that feel like a regular balloon? Like a regular balloon filled with air? No. What does it feel like? Heavy. I wonder why. Why do you think that the balloon is heavier? Feel it. T kind of toss it in the air. Why do you think the balloon is heavier? Okay, so I asked you why you thought the balloon was heavier. The reason that it's heavier is carbon, because carbon dioxide. monoxide, which is what it's now full of. It's not regular air. It is denser. Do you know what denser means? Do you know what denser means? Nope. Do you know what denser means? The word denser means that the molecules are closer together. When, a mo when molecules are closer together, come here, come here. When molecules are closer together, look at it. It's harder, you guys take up a tighter amount of space than if I go like this, then I can walk through. So if you're denser, your molecules are closer together. I can't get through. I can't get through. So you would be heavier. If I picked you up like this, you're heavier than if I picked you up like this. Okay? So that's the difference between normal air and carbon monoxide air. Both can? Okay. So I'll give you a blue one. Can you stretch it out? So we're going to blow up balloons right now. We're going to show you the difference between this balloon and that balloon. So hold on to it. Blow it up and I'll help you tie it if you need help. It's going to be salty because my hands are half thick and so. Ready? Go ahead. Blow it up to be about the same size as this one. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. I'll tie that for you. Yes, a little bit. A little tiny bit bigger. So Matthew's is purple and Nathan's is blue. Hold on to that. Perfect. Look at that balloon go. Okay. Okay, Matt, you hold that one and I'll hold this one. So ready, set, let's stand together. Ready, set. We're going to be dense. We're dense right now, right? Okay, ready, set, and go. Look at how fast that pink one went down. That was the one with, what's the chemical inside? Carbon, Carbon monoxide. dioxide. Right? Monoxide. Watch. Bounce this one. Let's bounce them together. This one's going to stay on the ground. This one's going to float all over the place. Look at it. Okay? Denser. Denser means heavier, harder to separate. Molecules are closer together, and guess what? We're done. All right, I want to thank you all for joining me today in our science project. Today, just to recap what we did, we got some vinegar, which is a liquid. We got a solid, which was baking soda, and we put them together, causing a chemical reaction, and we made a gas. We filled our balloon with that gas, and it wasn't like regular air. Remember, it was, what was the word? Dense. The molecules in carbon monoxide are more dense than the molecules in oxygen. So what happened to the balloon? I hope you remember, and you were watching, it sunk. It was heavier than the regular balloons that the boys blew up. Speaking of the boys, I just want to thank Nathan Roberts for joining me today and being my trusty assistant. And Matt Roberts, who has also our music maestro. I want to thank you both. I want to thank all of you guys, and I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you on Thursday.